Hello everyone, Bill Parrish here from GTT Audio, and welcome to the channel today. Well, if you subscribe and follow us, you know that GTT Audio is the North American importer of Mola Mola and AudioNet, and we are the U.S. importer and distributor of Kronos Audio. I thought that we would do something what I consider fun today, uh, Munich High End is going on right now, and I didn't go this year. But that doesn't mean I didn't want to know what was going on, and I wanted to check in with the three brands and see what's going on and see what they're showing. So rather than wait for the press to come out, I thought we'd do it now. So come join me. Okay, we're... Uh... Welcome, everybody. I'm here with, well, I'm not here, but Awald from Mola Mola is coming to us live from Munich at the end of the setup day, the second setup day, I guess. How are you, Awald? Well, uh, we had a one-day setup, uh, Bill. Uh, yeah? Everything went smooth, but yesterday we traveled for nine hours to get here. Um, but like I said, everything was, was perfectly smooth and... Uh, except for the fact that they had to rewrite the lighting about an hour ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was slightly stressful, but um, yeah, the rest of it worked like a charm. And um, we're really happy to be here. We've already played with, uh, well, why you're calling me, you're, you're calling me for the Lupe. And, well, uh, I'm just um, no, I'm, gonna, I'm you know I'm just calling uh, calling my guys over there and seeing what you're showing and uh, yeah yeah so I definitely want to hear about the Lupe and I, I, yeah. a couple weeks ago three weeks ago I think you were over here and uh, you and I were together in Schaumburg at Expona and we we uh, we did a video and we briefly uh, discussed it but uh, yeah why don't you uh, why don't you take us through what you're uh, what you're displaying what you're showing and then. Talk to us a little bit about the Lupe. Okay, well, I'm uh, going to start off. This is our conference room. You know, this is where the magic happens. And here you can see it's uh, not something called Thor's hammer, but much more powerful. It's Ewald's hammer. <laughs> Ewald's <laughs> hammer. All right. And those boxes you see there, everybody, that, that's what Mola Mola gear ships in. Those, those come in a double-wrapped uh, cardboard box, but everything ships in a Pelican-like case. You see right there, there's the Mola Mola Dem Demo Lupe. Well, first of all, I guess we should tell everyone what a Lupe is, and the Lupe yes, is the... Yeah, go ahead. I'm coming to that. So... Um, as you can see, we, we're sharing the Mola Mola booth with the guys from Vivid Audio. Right. Well, you're uh, also uh, the uh, the worldwide uh, sales manager for Vivid Audio. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, absolutely. I my job in that. And what we try to do here is create a, a very open and inviting space. It's so, beautiful. It's absolutely it's, gorgeous. I think it's equal shared between Vivid and uh, Mola. So this is the short, the new okay. products from Vivid. Uh, guys, guys that are used, guys that are used to the U.S. trade shows, you've got to make it to Munich one year. I mean, this is this is what they do over there. I mean, this is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. It's so, truly a real trade show as opposed to, uh, you know, just stereos set up in hotel rooms. This is this is really nice. And and yes. it's a uh, well, and it's held it's held at a convention center. And I mean, it's uh, we'll, we'll as we interview uh, Kronos and AudioNet, we'll see different types of rooms. But uh, the, these are not converted hotel rooms where they remove a bed, leave the headboards on the walls. And, you know, we're not allowed to touch anything. Uh, televisions on credenzas and everything else. And then we're, you know, we pop a, pop a uh, stereo system in the room. This is a serious trade show that's done by a serious organization and they're... Um, they they do it right. So if you've never been to Munich, you should go. 
Sorry about that, Awald, but I just I just had to give a plug because I'm sitting here and I'm missing it. Normally I go every year and I just didn't feel this. I, I'm so busy this year with uh, the uh, installing all the Kronos uh, tone arms. Just couldn't take the time away. But go on. It's uh, uh, the floor. The floor. Yeah, yeah the, the the floor is yours. Yes. Well, uh, I will just swap back to me. Um, you've been giving the show around. This is a 40 square meter room. I don't know exactly how that converts into feet, but it's quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we decided to make it an open stage. Um, as you rightfully said, for us, it's mainly a trade show, uh, which means I will meet our customers and potential customers, distributors, uh, a lot of uh, friends from the business. Uh, this is, uh, well, one of the pinnacles of the year for uh, people like us and companies like ours. And um, of course, we all have been hampered by uh, delays in production, delays in uh, development. Um, development delays come from the, the, the delays in production because we need to source different types of products all the time. But having said that, um, I'm so happy to be able to show our first Lupe Phono stage, uh, which will be released any t any day now. Uh, we'll get back to you on delivery times, etc. The um, and it boasts uh, our our integrated uh, Phono stage, which we use in our Makua preamp which you can also have in your Kula preamp, uh, integrated amplifier. Yeah. Uh, um, but it just takes it up a notch, you know, and... Um, you guys sent me one, you know, a prototype to listen to, and with uh, it came in the day before Expona, wasn't able to get it in, got back, and put, uh, you know, needed to send it back that week. But uh, I, I did listen to it for two days, and... <laughs> This is a serious, serious product. I mean, this is going to be, it's going to come in under 10K and it's its going to perform uh, uh, with, at twice that price level and just just an amazing unit. There you have yeah. on the back, what do you, you got three inputs, four inputs, a balanced and, uh, and three RCAs. You've got yep. the you've got an XLR and an RCA output, uh, grounding, uh, plenty of grounding uh, posts, and yeah, every single input is completely adjustable. I think you can actually set up, as we calculated once, 72 different uh, equalization curves. Uh, all the uh, all the uh, studios of past are in there before RIAA was uh, standardized, and yeah, you can select it all. Everything's independently. Uh, you can select independent loading for each phono stage gain, and it's all done in the analog domain. It is so. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is that your system there? <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So, so you've got the Lupe connected to the uh, Kula integrated. It looks like. Yes, uh, we decided to to keep it simple. You know, it's uh, it's so easy to only show your top products. And yeah, but these these are your two uh, latest products, and well, <laughs> they, uh, they they're, they're they I, I, actually I, are top products. So uh, yeah, exactly. I, everything you guys make is a top product. This is these are just different uh, different classes. Indeed, indeed. And um, like I said, even though it's an open stage, um, it performs really well, and. Um, people uh, passing by uh, really enjoy it already. So, yeah, I um, can't wait to get it out into a more private setting, of course. 
Um, and you can hear that being at a trade show, there are some vacuum cleaners going around now. Oh yeah, it's 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 crazy. Everyone's scrambling to set up, you know, finalize everything for the opening tomorrow morning. Yeah. So, well, for me, um, I think that's it for the moment. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, well, thank you so much. Thanks for doing this. I truly appreciate it. I know the viewers will appreciate it. And this is just ah, look at that, the dude. <laughs> Well, I, I won't repeat that online, but uh, it's pretty cool, huh? The Big Lebowski. <laughs> the Big Lebowski. Oh, shit. Very and cool. And that tie tied it all to, the rock ties it all together. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, listen, Thanks. have a great Thanks. show. You, you guys, uh, yeah, the best, the best to you guys, and I hope you get a great turnout. Thank you. Have a beautiful Take day. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Bye -bye. You too. Okay, and here's Stefan from AudioNet and coming to us live from the MOC. And Stefan, what are you guys showing this year? Hi, Bill. Hey, Just exclusive, how are you? exclusively for you from the high end. Well, I really the, appreciate that. Yeah, and for those who maybe don't know me, AudioNet is, is my company, so I'm the managing director and the, uh, and the CEO of AudioNet. Thanks, Bill, yes. for having me. And, Absolutely. Uh, and I just walk around a little bit. What you, what we see, what we have this year here. You see also uh, loudspeakers which are not from, uh, which are not from uh, Audionet. So we exhibit in the cooperation with uh, Bills and Banish, just for uh, just for information. Yes. But ha having it short, what what does Audionet do it, do this year here? You see, we have uh, one could say traditionally. The big boys, that means Stern and Heisenberg, as being the, uh, the amplification stage. Uh, also very seldom seen is the, uh, is the, Stern, the Stern in its vertical direction so far. Uh, so this gives, gives a, a nice view on three amplification units being in the center of, uh, of the presentation. However, what we have what we have is, is the, uh, the innovation, the ultimate phono pre called Bohr. Bohr, yeah, that looks Bohr. awesome. I can't it's, wait to see uh, this. It's, it's, it completes the, uh, the ultimate series. So that means all of us, I think, from school times know Niels Bohr and his um, um, atomic uh, model so far. And we thought this fits quite well to this uh, ultimate phono free amplifier here. So then I go go over here in order to show you a little, or talk a little about about the bore himself. Just um, waking him up. It's in the same in the same housing, like like the uh, horizontal stern, and also uh, the Humboldt. But what you see is missing is the very thick knob. Which is uh, normally useful for uh, for volume volume control. This is not necessary in the phono pre stage um, four so far. That that is really <laughs> awesome. What we yeah it's a big, it's also one of the big boys so to say. Yes. Yeah. What we did, what you also may have uh, thought before, we continued the development of our PAM the very well-known phono pre-stage of the classic series, which is uh, has a very good reputation worldwide. And it what sure we does. Did, we continued to develop this, and we reached uh, sound-wise an improvement in percentage, for example, we say between 20 and 30 percent. It's in decibel, in dB, uh, not more than one. It's one dB, but it's definitely a very sure dB. Yeah. Uh, which improved the sound on the on, on the sound side, the um, the phono pre stage. But what what really is uh, what really is a good achievement? We integrated a very good uh, power supply, and uh, this this led to the fact that we have finally 6 dB less own noise and own uh, yeah own noise of of the whole unit. Wow, 6 dB less noise than a PAM. 
Yeah. That's incredible. The the pen. Oh, the, that's the own incredible. noise. The own noise, yeah. Yeah. And this is really a very, very good achievement, what we are very proud uh, proud about so far. Yeah. That is, that is really cool. Now, now, how many inputs does it have, stuff? It has, uh, this one here has four inputs. <clears throat> we also will, will offer it with two inputs or with three or with four inputs. And every input can be, can be controlled electronically by the end of the day. Uh, what we show here is a very, a very uh, mature prototype, but when but for the series production, which is which is planned for uh, October November, at the latest awesome. year, this in year, 2022, right? Yes, in 2022, <laughs> this, this will be we will have an electronically controlled stage in terms of uh, as you see the gain, the resistance, and the capacitance for. Finn shows a little, uh, gives you a little overview of, of the of the display, and uh, this will be that electronically um, controllable via the via the knobs and the and the screen. So far. So how are the uh, are there cards that slide in the back, or how does uh, how does it work? Are they are yeah, they internally? It is, a, it is a modular design, of course. Yes. We we learned much from much from the from the PAM in order to get this super PAM as an as an idea. Um, they don't slide into into a slot like in a computer, but it's it's a okay. modular design, and and therefore you can also have it as I said in uh, in a two in a two input form or a two input version and a three input version. So yeah. Far. So if a client wanted to order it in the basic uh, two input version and then later on add additional cards, that can be done. Yes. Okay. I, I didn't. I didn't uh, thought much about that during the prototype um, period. Now, however, this is uh, from the modular design. This is definitely feasible. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Terrific. And there's no. There's also no. Of course, uh, regarding the input. Regarding input cards, no difference between uh, 230 and 120 volts. So this is done in the in the power supply, of course, only only short to mention. Um, so definitely, you're right. Once you start with a with a two input design, you can order a third or a fourth input. This is um, fantastic. This yeah. is gr really great. Really great. Yeah. I know. I I've been uh, asking for this, and I know. Uh, I a big handful of my maybe a couple handfuls of clients have been asking for this. So this this oh. is great. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Is that, that you gave that you gave some some uh, impulses on on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a nice little wish list. This is terrific. Yeah. So this is this is a uh, war, and I think what we could do we could get can go over to the other part where we yeah. where we show where we show um, the new plank, the plank two. Yeah, just stopped and we will continue, of course. The Plank 2 is also the uh, the continue, uh, continued version of the Plank. Yes. Um, it is, first of all, it looks almost like, it, it looks, yeah, you're right, we, we need to talk about this later. And um, it looks almost like, like the Plank, but we, but what we did internally, we just, we just change, need to change 50% uh, of the electronics and we introduced it. That was also the reason for that. We introduced a new drive, a new CD drive. Uh, maybe our um, customers know that the from Plank and RG3 were equipped with a um, CD drive from uh, Philips, which was right. called CD Pro 2. You know, this the CD Pro 2 is uh, very difficult now to um, to provide and to supply, and therefore. We switched over to um, to the CD Pro 8, which is constructed and built by um, now Streamann, Streamann Limited Optical Solutions in Austria, in Vienna. Oh, cool! These these uh, these types, these guys are former Philips Philips guys, and they when when they uh, were, when they left Philips, they they um, founded Streamann Limited Optical Solutions. So that means the CD Pro 8 is based finally 
on on solutions of CD Pro 2 and is a future proof a future proof CD drive which we can have now um, definitely the next years there's no problem with that. Awesome, that's great news. Important or let's what I what I found necessary or worth to mention is that we have uh, that the CD drive is uh, customized for ourselves. Customized means in particular also the the housing. Maybe you, yeah, you can see this here. Yeah, a sure, bit. absolutely. But the internal part is now from from uh, from cosmetic wise still nicer than than the plank because it's an only this aluminum part and a um, and a, a nice little plate which covers the uh, the the way where the laser is uh, going so far. Very very nice. Yeah. Well, it, it yeah. looks like it looks like it, it's a great show over there. I'm sorry I didn't make it this year. Yeah, we also <laughs> so would have had you have, would have had you here. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. And with 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 all this, I would have been camping no, out in the room not for sure. We do, no, we do no, we do this. And what we finally also want to mention you, your 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 lovely project. What we also have here is is the Gauss that meets the cable lifters. We also show on the on on the show here the cable lifters magnetic field liberators uh, please. magnetic field liberators Jan, <laughs> very cool yeah uh, we show also this also together so you see it's it's really uh, a bunch of a bunch of innovations what we can present on the on this show here yes. from, from the board to the plank uh, the goes as well and also what I did not show not until now in the RG5 that means the smaller CD player uh, which um, is the successor of the RG3, um, like like the Plank 2, equipped with a very brand new CD drive, and also 50% um, of the electronics new, renewed so far. That, yeah, that's amazing, 50%. And yeah, a lot of people don't realize, um, except for the ones that own it how wonderful you guys are in digital. I mean, we think of uh, AudioNet as an analog company, but your CD players are second to none. I've yeah. sold, uh, yeah, I've sold, I mean, when, you know, CDs in the U.S. are down quite a bit, uh, but the guys that are still spinning them and buying AudioNet CD players uh, who've had all these other multi-box units uh, definitely prefer the audio. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the market, the market we see or the market we we feel we we experience is uh, is is by far the 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 far eastern market. That's yes. where that's where the where the CD players are acknowledged and and uh, the people are really happy to to buy these these kind of uh, high quality CD players. Yes, that's right. Ac excellent. But, but well, when, you're, when you're mentioning when you while you are mentioning that we are also good in digital. Don't don't forget to to, uh, to promote also the the digital amplifiers. It means the not digital amplifiers, but the digital network uh, systems, which are not renovated yet, but would which will be done. I think next year we will have the time to renovate the the DNXs. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen, I've got to go now. Thank you for taking the time to do this with me. Yeah. I really, really enjoy it, and I wish you guys the best during the show. Bill, thanks for having Bye. me. Have a nice day. Uh, oh, and there Jan popped in. Jan, Thank come you. in real quick <laughs> and just say hello. <laughs> this is Jan, no. the guy behind all the marketing at AudioNet. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. It's worth to mention. And some crazy products. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he also is the person behind Brent the gauss. <laughs> yeah. We got to get some over here to try them out. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao. Bye-bye. Hey, and here's Louis Desjardins over in Munich with the Singapore uh, distributor, Alvin. How are you guys? Well, we're great. I mean, I'm so happy to see Alvin. I'm so happy to see everybody here. Uh, you know, I was... I was uh, I was chatting with quite a few people and, and it's actually a quite a busy show. It's, it's quite amazing that, you know, we were worried whether people were going to come or not. And, yes. and we're, we're seeing a lot of, we're not seeing everybody, but we're seeing a lot of people we want to see. And the people that are here 
really want to enjoy it. So it's it's fantastic. I actually uh, just heard this from uh, from the people over at AudioNet. They said it's you know it's certainly down from 2019, but they have spread the trade over a couple of days and put consumers just on the weekend, and uh, you know it's it's been a great turnout. They were saying, yeah, fantastic, so, yeah. really. So and what we've it, got great stuff here, so it's really exciting. I mean, I gotta say, yeah, um, Alvin's giving a thumbs I'm up. Really, That's good. Yeah, I'm really happy with this sound. What would you say, Alvin? It's, it's really good. It's really good, huh? Well, these uh, I, I know you got these uh, GoBell uh, speakers that you normally show with. And I know, uh, well, di digital, you're using WADX, but I know that's, you know, you're the analog guy. So what are you showing at the show? Why don't you, uh, why don't you hand that uh, camera over to <laughs> Alvin and let him... Uh, uh yeah, film I mean, film you okay Louis. show us show us what you're showing to, uh at this show yeah we've got uh we've got the uh discovery turntable i see it with scps as you can see and we've got yeah. the chronos phone uh with its power supply and we have the uh the power supply to the scps so we have basically the complete rack just as you have it uh, a GTT uh, well, bill. Exactly, exactly. And I see, I see a couple of new uh, new arms on there, Louie. Well, we've got yeah, we've got the Discovery RS tone arm here on the turntable, and uh, we've got uh, the Chronoscope RS, which actually I haven't mounted a cartridge on. I uh, just put a little bit of weight on it so it wouldn't be flying backwards. Okay. Because uh, we're it out and letting people touch it and play with it a little bit so uh yeah it's it's uh it's exciting but i have to tell you it's it's people have come here and i think they've they've been quite surprised by uh what we could do with analog oh that's and, that's uh, just amazing and i see that you've got your uh, your racks in there for the entire system and exactly. i know it's, it's, some people aren't aren't aware that you can get uh, get the rack, and you are the master in uh, resonance control. And that guy just got back uh, yesterday from, uh, or was it the day before? I don't. Yeah, yesterday morning from Dallas, where I had did a system uh, for our friend Jake down there, who uh, has has all your racks now. Look at that amp stands. Oh yes, I, I forgot you're also showing with uh, TLA. Which is made out in uh, in Greece, and I've heard this at your place as well. Very, very good and interesting electronics. Yeah, it's it's a uh, TLA. It's I mean, for people who know about our phono stage, uh, you know that TLA uh, it makes the phono stage with Kronos. So uh, yes, uh, this is this is a, a partnership that we've had for years now. Uh, with uh, Menos in, in, uh, from Athens, and they make beautiful stuff. And I have to tell you, uh, you know, uh, whether it's myself or whether it's Oliver Gobel, uh, the feeling is that this is the best sound we've ever had at a show. Wow, that's uh, fantastic. And I, and I think, uh, you know, of course, the discovery helps. And I'm not going to say the opposite, but I would say that this electronics has really been uh, a major thing in, in getting the sound right. Oliver was showing his new uh, subwoofers that you see there. Yes. Uh, that are just being introduced at this show. And this is the smaller uh, speaker from the Divine Line. I think it's called the Marquee. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a really nice sound, very organic. Uh, I mean, we've been told that it's 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 the thing that sounds the most like real music here at the show uh, this year. So, it's, well, it's, you know, this is uh, Kronos just makes everything sound live. I had a uh, some good friends. A couple was in on uh, on Saturday, and we were here in my big room listening. And he's an all digital guy, but has a couple of very major systems. And 
we didn't listen to any digital. We just put analog on. And the very first thing he said after the first track was, it's live. It sounds live. And we were listening, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour. And his wife comes in and it wasn't 15 seconds. She says, oh, my gosh, Bill, it just sounds live. And well, talking about. Uh, maybe we well, should play what something. I'm, yeah, what, what I'm saying, though, is it is that all these comments have been coming as soon as you introduce the Discovery RS. And as I had said, I don't know, uh, two months ago when it was released, is the Discovery table took us to master tape. And then once we've introduced the Discovery RS arms, now we've now we've got live. We've got the live performance in our room. Yep. So yeah. really appreciate it. Well, you know that's th these rooms at the MOC really uh, blow me away. I was uh, I was just giving Munich High End a plug the other day when I was yesterday when I did this walkthrough with Awald from Mola Mola, but. It's so unlike the U.S. shows where they, you know, take a bed away and make us set up a room with headboards on the wall and credenzas in the room and TV sitting around. And we've got to try to play and work through that. And what this is, is a dedicated facility that's, it's, it's, Munich's mostly a, a business to business show, but it's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous and you know, maybe you guys can swing that uh, camera around, and uh, because Awald was down on the floor, down down on the first floor, but I know you guys are up in one of the rooms, and you can just see this, just just the space and how everything is. It's just so cool. So let me let me pan in the room here. There's a couple of chairs that are that are out of place. Oh, that's fine. This is after hours. I mean, you guys are. Just incredible staying so late and doing this for for my uh, viewers. And that's all room treatment that you guys brought. Well, Oliver brings this every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me take a little bit of a walk. You see part of the team here waiting yes. for us to go for dinner. But uh, look at this room. Yes. I mean, yeah. And look at the ceiling height. I mean, this is what they need to do in the U.S. They really do. The, well, guys at, the guys at Expona are doing the best they can with what they have, and it's clearly the best show in the U.S., but th this, is, this is the model by which all should strive for. Y yes, uh, but keeping, again, keeping in mind again that, that, I mean, all the lighting that you see here, all the paneling on the walls, this is all brought in by Oliver, so it's, it's quite an endeavor. But yes. what's good about Munich is that it's a stable show, always at the same place. So if they develop a decor like this, they can use it year after year. This is a timeless decor. Yes. And so it's it's not, you know, it's 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 an investment that they can amortize over a few years. If the venue changes place all the time, it's pretty impossible to to be able to achieve this, but it's a, real, it's a real pleasure to be showing in a in a room like this. Of course, absolutely. I really appreciate the time that you've taken. Why don't you get out of there and go eat a pork knuckle for me? Okay. So listen, <laughs> let me turn it again, and here's Alvin next to me. There's Alvin again. And, Alvin, uh, it was really five. great seeing you too. It's been it's been a few years, so uh, yeah, great seeing you, Louis. Well, thank you very much, Bill. We'll, we'll see you in a couple weeks, Louis. Take care, guys. Thanks. Thank Goodbye. you. Well, I thought that was just great. As you can tell, I really enjoyed it, and I enjoy the uh, the company and the camaraderie of the three uh, brands that I import. Uh, we're not only business partners, but uh, there's friendships there. And I thought it was just absolutely phenomenal.
Everyone's got new products. Seems like it's going to be a year of phonos. Uh, AudioNet's got a phono stage. Mola Mola's got a phono stage. Uh, Kronos is doing their arms. So everything's about analog right now. We're still selling a ton of uh, digital though and a ton, ton of amplification and not so many CD players as I uh, I think I mentioned there with uh, with Stefan, but uh, it's AudioNet makes incredible CD players, and we have you know a couple handfuls of clients that are using them. It's not uh, in the hundreds like uh, like we do with the uh, with the Mola Mola, but uh, if you're in the, if you're looking for CD players, AudioNet's second to none. In any case, absolute fun. You can tell I enjoyed it, and we'll see you in two weeks.